used to think of the numbers 2, 2, 4, 4. This signifies the approximate location of each of the cranial nerves. We begin with the first cranial nerve, the olfactory nerve. It pierces the thin cripriform plate of the ethmoid bone to reach the nasal olfactory mucosa. This is a purely sensory nerve. If you can identify this smell. Chocolate. Okay. The optic nerve, the second cranial nerve. Here, the fibers from the nasal or medial half of each retina cross over to the optic tracts of the opposite side. The fibers from the temporal half of each retina remain ipsilateral. A pupil which does not react to light and accommodation is slow indicates Holmes' AD pupil at the generation of the ciliary ganglion. Can I get you to block the other eye and again try and read the smallest print? L H T O C. The sensory nucleus arises from the midbrain and stretches down to the level of C2 in the cervical spine. Test with light touch and pin prick. Noting if the reflex is increased or absent. The head will extend back over the edge of the couch. Explain the procedure to the patient and tell them to fix their eyes on an object for a few seconds via the recurrent laryngeal nerve. The course of this nerve makes it clinically significant as it can become affected by mediastinal and aortic lesions. Each side of the posterior pharyngeal wall just behind the pillars of the fossa, the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius. First, observe the neck and shoulders for symmetry, evidence of wasting or fasciculations. Then, test the strength of the sternocleidomastoid, which is suggestive of peripheral accessory nerve palsy, most commonly at the jugular forum. 